Use Morbius Bloodlust on the first turn, then retain Bloodlust. Which I did. The return of Morbius, the living vampire. That's cool, that's not even like art from the game. That's legit. Cool. Very cool. That was fun. Alright, after this we have one more. And he's gonna be a fun character too. All of them are fun. All of the new characters are fun. I'm really enjoying it a lot. Okay. No further abomination. Okay, okay, it's cool. Morbius is with us now. With us? You would bring a vampire into the Abbey. Well, he's not a vampire. Not exactly. If he was, he'd be dust. He became this way because of an experiment gone wrong, not a bite from a vamp. He's his own master, right, Doc? If I may. There are few judges of character better than Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Back me up here, Blade. As much as I hate to admit it, we could probably use his help. Thank you. This one. Hunter's, Hunter's normally more open-minded, but I guess he is a hunter. Like, almost a slayer, basically. Complete three missions with Morbius. We should, oh, nice. How come I got progress with that one, but not the others? Not the others. Hunter, was it? Thank you for not making a bigger deal about my arrival. I know my presence unnerves many. Not as much as Deadpool, though. <laughs> not as much as Deadpool. You're more than welcome. I have my eye on you. I didn't have much of a choice. You're more than welcome. You surprised me earlier, and I do not like surprises. But really? A friend okay. of Peter is a friend of mine. Yeah, he is my hubby, I after all. I'm relieved to hear it. You have a wonderful home, and a great many resources. I look forward to making use of them. How do you think you will help? I am the world's foremost authority on vampire physiology. Hmm, that's really useful. Reason knows a great deal about vampire rituals, habits, and social order, but he doesn't understand their biology. It would make him a more... Why should that matter? ...effective killer. In a sense, you could say Blade can take a vampire apart, but he can't put one back together. Ah, the whole Humpty Dumpty thing. I do not want to put vampires back together. Uh, of course not. Let me put it like this. If you understand the structure of an organism, you'll know its weak points, where to push so it falls apart. Right. This is what I offer you. Okay. I think this could work. I love being I love being pushy. I still have my eye on you. I think this could work. Then let me officially welcome you to the Midnight Suns. <sighs> you will not regret this. Now, can you show me where we keep the prisoners? I would like to feast. Uh, well, what? well. <laughs> Only kidding. <laughs> I think you'd be happy to know that I've actually already started researching vampire biology. Good. That sounds like good news. Good. Unfortunately, I also have bad news. I've been tinkering with a prototype gamma serum that suppresses the effects of sunlight on vampiric membranes. The vampires have taken that from me. That's bad. But we must take it back. That is why I'm here. And I would love to get back to that research. Unless you have further need of me. No, I have more questions. Like, how does your eyes glow red like that? I want to know a little more about you first. Naturally. I am an open book. What is a living vampire? I've heard you called a living vampire. What does that mean? It means that unlike most vampires, I have a pulse. Right. How is this possible? I mean... Most vampires are tied to the supernatural realm. They are undead creatures. My gifts are a boon of science. I am wholly unique in that way. Quite literally a freak of nature. I find it pretty darn comedic that Hunter's been fighting alongside people who can shoot powerful light beams from their fists and can alter reality itself, and he's asking, how is that possible? <laughs> like, seriously, Hunter? Seriously? 
What were you like before your powers? Who were you before you became a vampire? I was born with a rare degenerative blood condition. My disease would have proven fatal if I had not taken matters into my own hands and experimented on my body using vampire bat DNA. I cured myself, but there were side effects. I see. What is your history with Blade and Spider-Man? You seem to know Blade and Spider-Man well. What is your impression of them? When I first became the living vampire, I struggled with my baser instincts. It took me a while to maintain control over my appetite. Spider-Man and Blade were the first two heroes I encountered, and they protected many innocent people from my wrath. You mean they fought you? Yes. But I am grateful, because they encouraged me to become a better man. Though I wish Blade's approach hadn't been nearly so ferocious. <laughs> yeah, it's cool to learn all about this history. I had no idea that Morbius is part of both Spider-Man and Blade's lore. I've never... Because really my main exposure to Spider-Man lore is through the movies. And I don't think we ever had Morbius in any of the Spider-Man movies, ever. What are your powers? I would like to know more about your capabilities. Like a traditional vampire, I possess enhanced strength, speed, and acute senses. An accelerated healing factor allows me to bounce back from otherwise mortal injuries. And while I cannot fly in the traditional sense, I have the psionic ability to glide over great distances. But you don't have a flying unicorn or a flying dragon, like I would love to have. What about vampire vulnerabilities? Do you share other vampiric weaknesses? One of the advantages of being a living vampire is that I do not have those Achilles heels. Mm. I could drink holy water all day, and a silver bullet stings like a lead one. One slight exception is daylight. I do not burn under the sun, but my eyes are sensitive to the light, and my powers are somewhat dampened hmm. during the daytime. Interesting. I'm wondering if that actually is a game mechanic, if we end up in a mission where it happens to be daytime or happens to be in the sunlight. I'm wondering if that's a thing. I would like to think the programmers would have done that. What do you eat? Do you have to consume blood like any other vampire? Regrettably, not only do I need to consume human blood, I crave it. But you do not need to worry. I keep my cravings in check these days, and only feed on those who prey on others. It has to be human, it can't be animal blood, so it's... Hmm, okay. That does make it a very limited resource, but I guess this universe doesn't have a shortage of... Uh, those who prey on others, as he says. Never mind. I will let you settle in. Happy to talk any time. Okay, Morbius. I'd like to be your friend. I would like to. Somebody's here. Over here. Gosh. All the way over here. Wow, lots of people want to talk to me. Well, I should set up my lab sooner than later. Spider-Man told me the forge is roomy and bickery. Mm-hmm. Checking in on me already, Hunter. I haven't had time to get into trouble. It's been only can like a few seconds. Sure. I suppose. What can I do for you? It's interesting that Hunter is so suspicious of, of Morbus by default. Never mind. Happy to talk any time. Okay. Doctor, meet the doctor. Now, the Abbey has as many PhDs as you'd find on your average golf course. <laughs> We've met. Dr. Morbius, so good to see you again. Dr. Strange, still patrolling the spiritual realm, I see. I'd love to get set up as quickly as possible in here. Start learning the lay of the land so I can help out. Hmm. Set up your little test tubes anywhere you'd like. Just don't touch any of my stuff. And there are several mystical artifacts in here that no one should look at directly. 
don't look and don't touch. You really know how to make a colleague feel at home. Yeah, well, yeah. Just remember that's only an expression. And you don't actually own any of this. But we really are glad to have you. Really, we are. I can tell. Including Hunter, right, Hunter? Steven, have you worked with Morbius before? Oh, yes. He is a formidable ally. He once assisted me in a battle against a Fear Lord from the Dream Dimension. Hmm. Fear Lords are powerful foes. Yes, it was a boisterous battle, so I was pleased to have Morbius at my side. Undoubtedly, he will be a favorable ally against Lilith as well. So you have no reservations about letting him stay in the Abbey? None at all. As long as he doesn't grow too hungry, we'll all be fine. Wait, what should we do if he gets hungry? We should all be on guard. Steven, I need details. Mm -hmm. As with any vampire, he could lose control and eat every one of us. But ah. I do not think that will happen. I don't think that will happen. If he gets hungry, just call for pizza. Delivery boys. Pizza so, delivery people. Vampirish teammate. Good thing I have a fangproof turtleneck. That's true, that makes two of us. Tony, what is your impression of Morbius? Well, we've never actually met, but Strange talks highly of him. I am uncomfortable inviting a vampire to live in the Abbey. Hey, I know what you mean. Half the people on my board of directors are vampires. Not literal bloodsuckers, but they definitely try to sink their teeth into you. Or your pocketbook. Yep. Maybe. Maybe. The guy's a freak, no doubt. But every genius is. You should have seen half my professors back at MIT. Or that Tony Stark guy who's always in the news. Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, I've read a few of Morbius's papers on DNA manipulation, and it's years ahead of anyone else. He could be a valuable asset. If he doesn't eat us. So you think we can trust him? Well, I never said that. But he could be useful. I mean, Hunter, not to be super meta, but we're about to recruit Venom. So I feel like I'd be more concerned about Venom than Morbius. Yes? You still have the thing above never your head. Mind. Happy to- I'm trying to get rid of the thing over your head. Oh. You're a ghost for a second. You aren't, are you? No, he's a vampire. We already established this, Tony. Oh my goodness, so many people want to talk. Do not worry if the painting is good or not. Just enjoy the creative process. Wow, you're already all the way over there. Blade, are you actually comfortable with Morbius living here? Comfortable? Comfortable? I'll never be comfortable around that monster. But if I'm being generous, he could be useful. This could be good. I am grateful to have another able warrior on our side. You sound like Peter. Naive. He is. Hunter is. What exactly is your history with Morbius? I don't like getting into that. You used to date, but huh? But the two of you have fought before. What makes you think we can trust him now? I never said we could trust him. If that man loses control to his bloodthirst, I'll end him myself. But the vampires are using his experiments against us. We need him to clean up his own mess. I don't disagree. So Morbius is just a tool to you. Yeah, yeah. Call it whatever you want. I call it practical. I find it interesting that Morbius' eyes glowed very differently from from Blades. We aren't running a home for wayward vampires, Hunter. I hope you know what you're doing. This wasn't my doing. This was I was informed. I was informed by Blade and Peter Parker that he was staying with us. Around, Hunter, you better watch your back and your front. Come on, I still, I still have a lot of beef with with caretaker. She still gets on my last the nerve. Signs seem to attract people with complicated histories. Huh? Maybe Morbius belongs here. Blade warned me about Morbius, but I trust your judgment on this, Hunter. Yeah, this is the the island of misfit super beings, basically. The lost island if of super Blade is worried about this guy? He must be dangerous. I wanna see him in action. He's pretty impressive. Getting to know Blade has been nice. Maybe Morbius won't be so bad. I don't think it would be so bad. 
Wade has no issue with with him, I'm sure. Anything else on your mind? What about Morbius's prototype sample? What happens if Hydra successfully replicates Morbius's prototype sample? Sunproof vampires seem like a bad idea for all involved. Yeah. Maybe not for the vampires. For now, it's just a scary theory. Even if it works, there could be side effects, like new breed vampires bursting into flame upon contact with oxygen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wishful thinking, but prototypes can be unpredictable. Just to ask Hank Pym about Ultron. Okay. Thanks, Carol. Catch you later. Carol's definitely a vampire expert, it seems. Wade? Anything else on your mind? I was trying to talk to Thanks. Wade, Catch Carol. Love me some good old escapism. Yes? Thanks for giving Morbius a shot, Hunter. I hope I didn't abuse your trust. Peter, never. Never. That's why we are work hubbies for life. Sorry we didn't give you a heads up before. You know, about bringing a vampire into the Abbey. It all happened kind of fast. Kind of fast? Are you sure we can trust Morbius? Yeah. Morbius has his demons, but he's a teddy bear. A snarly teddy bear. With fangs. But there's stuffing in there, somewhere. This is not helping your argument. What I'm trying to say is that Morbius has a good heart. And exceptionally good blood. I can see that. Good blood? Yeah. Whatever Morbius did to transform his body infused the heme in his blood with curative properties. I'd love to help him study it further, if I ever have the time. Since we're fighting new breed vampires, we'd do well to have a living vampire in our corner. Right. We already have Blade, but it's fine. They're two different, two different, bring two different things to the table. Morbius is far from hideous. I don't know why Blade would say such a thing. I don't think he is. It feels very cozy here. If Morbius is anything like Blade, I'm sure we'll get along just fine. I don't think he's going to be just like Blade, but... So Blade trusts Morbius? A vampire? Huh. Where are the flying pigs? He never said he trusted hey, hey, him. Hunter. He specifically What's said up, he didn't trust him. That wasn't... That's not what this is. Um, let's see what Logan thinks about Morpheus. Mor... Not Morpheus. Not Morpheus. Uh, I thought this place had already filled its quota. For Morbius. Weirdos. Excuse you. Yeah. Another, there's like multiple people with super healing powers in this, in this place. I never expected I'd be here. Before I met you, I didn't even know this place existed. Join the club. It could be nice to have another scientist in the forge. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I'm happy he's here. Hunter is not as much, but I am. Hunter? Magic. Okay. Five credits and gloss. Okay. All right. We good. Time for us to get some more shut eye. Hola. Hola, Rabi, and we have one more DLC character to. Hello, my sweet girl. One more DLC character to recruit. Nice. Does Wade want to talk to me again? Wade loves me. Wade loves me. Okay. Bleeding Edge. Dr. Morbius was the world's preeminent hematologist before his transformation, and he's only grown more brilliant since. As to the ethics of how he achieves such groundbreaking results, I make no comment. Complete three missions. Purchase secondary stat modifications for heroes. Laboratory for schematic. Again, 
Okay, here it is. Three missions of Storm. Two missions. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. I was like, why didn't I get credit for those two? But they did. Deadpool. Your wisecracking at the air magic is pretty awesome. Hunter. We finally got to third base. Third base? That's it? We've been here for two months. Wait, I, I, I believe we've gotten way further than that in two months. That by this point. Um... Heads up, I'm going out to destroy some property soon. You in? Not really all about destroying property at my house, but I guess I'm... What are you Hunter doing? Is. What Whoa, are you doing? Don't go creeping up on a guy when he's sowing his wild oats. Oh. I'm just spreading my seed. Oh. I'm leave my mark in the abbey starting here. Duh. Wait, if this, that's what you wanted. Well, Why'd you say so? Well, have been avoiding me like the plague, so I decided to make nice with Mother Nature. Speaking of... You seem to be getting really friendly with everyone. That's cute. It is. It is. Just like you. Of course I am. It's part of the job. I haven't noticed. Um. I haven't noticed. It's part of the job. Of course I am. I'll be a little bit. I'll be a little bit cocky around Wade. Just a little bit. Of course I am. Why would I not be? We are part of our team. Friendship makes us stronger. Your team. Don't lump me up with the rest of them. I have a reputation to keep. Okay. What is wrong with making friends? Yeah, Wade. Friends are just another liability in the world of mercs. Makes sense. It's like Murder 101, Hunter. Get with the program. I'm naive. Yeah, well, like it or not, everyone's fallen over themselves to be part of your posse. You sound bitter. Mm. Do I? Hold on. Let me tone it down for you, Cupcake. I'm just speaking facts here. Don't get me wrong, having a fan club is great. Gets a little weird when they write self-insert fiction, but it's still flattering all the same. It is, yeah. Keep up the good work. It strokes my ego. Why do you keep calling them my fans? They're my friends. What makes you so sure? We are vulnerable. We respect each other because I said so. We are vulnerable. Being open and honest with one another shows trust. It also puts a big target on your back. Pass. Fair enough. It is a risk I am willing to take. Yeah. Come back to me after it backfires, so I can rub it in your pretty little face. <gasps> you think I'm pretty, Wade? I'm gonna say it until the day I die and regenerate. The only person you need is yourself, Hunter. All that personal mumbo jumbo just weighs you down. Okay. I mean, I, I understand where he's coming from. Staying alive, common passive, recovers 80 health each turn. Love it. Love it. Nice. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good talk. Good chat. Alright. So, it's gonna take a while for us to get to Wade's stuff. But hey. We've got some... Cool. I still like Deadpool the kid. Um, relay two. Invos grasp. Edit deck. Goddess's blessing. Yeah, let's throw Goddess's blessing in there. Draw one card and next turn. Next turn. Let's throw in Goddess's Blessing in there. Yeah. Okay. Overpowered. Quick shot is good. Death from above is good. All together now. Overpowered is good. But I'll take the one that has a 100 on it. Thank you very much. Rapid healing. Mindbender. Yeah, that's darkness, which I don't need. Okay. And athletic. Ooh! Let's get that one. That one's new. I'll take that one. Nice. New ability to upgrade. Hey, what's up? What's up, Hunter? 
Can I borrow your brain a moment? Go ahead. I document the supernatural creatures I come into contact with. One day, I'd like to publish a book on the subject. Cool. I'm writing a query letter to publishers. Okay. How does this introduction sound? The dark occult corridors of the world are filled with monstrous creatures. From Atlanteans to were roosters to the taker of heads, were -roosters? I, Blade the Vampire Hunter, have hunted them all and many others. You've hunted were roosters? Did you say Th were roosters? Th thank you, Hunter. We're on the same page here. Don't get tripped on them. How does the sentence flow feel? Is it clunky? I have some thoughts. Me too. <laughs> You're hung up on the were roosters. All right, let's hear what you got. I am tripped up on were roosters. Your book sounds helpful. Is the lith in your book? I am tripped up on were roosters. Well, who could not be tripped up on were roosters? <laughs> what even is a were rooster? I want to know that. It's exactly what it sounds like. Humanoid chickens that shoot fire from their mouths. I would not have imagined fire-breathing chickens. They were created by the Death Walkers and sent to kill me. The Death Walkers also created were slugs, were honey badgers, and were octopi. Were octopi? Were they pranking? You? I would love to be a were octopus. I should remove were roosters from the paragraph. Too distracting. On the contrary, my imagination is most definitely engaged. Do not, under any circumstance, lose the were roosters. <laughs> I really, really hate the Death Walkers. But they might make me a best-selling author one day. Thanks for that, Hunter. I think I will keep the were roosters in the introduction. I was thinking if fisticuffs if you remove that nugget of supernatural cockadoodlery. I'll give you a shout out in the acknowledgments chapter. But I don't do autograph copies. I was thinking to myself, if I could choose if I had to become a were creature of somewhat of some sort and I could choose what animal the were creature would be derived from. I would be a were sugar glider. You know, the sugar gliders are those really small flying squirrels. Because A, I might look at least to some degree cute, to some degree, maybe if you look at me like sideways. Um, and I'd have the ability to fly or glide or whatever. That would be cool. Finally, some action! I thought my dry spell was never gonna end. Mm. Hunt. Blade. Hey y'all. Somebody else wants to talk to me. Oh, Steve! Steven, my boy, my man. My man. Help the hero. I'll help anything for you, Steve. Hey, can I ask a favor? Gain a friendship level with Michael Morbius. Uh, yeah. Thanks, yeah. Hunter. Gain friendship level. Yeah, that's Can gonna happen. I help you? Speaking of which, where is Morbius? We can go on a date. Good day, Hunter. Good day. Multi dimensional ciphers and graviton theory. Sports car interior. Advanced photography. You look well. You too, Bruce. All taken care of. Hell's Fury. Ghost Rider easily relocated the Lone Rider, who is indeed a burning leather-clad skeleton on a hellfire-powered motorcycle. The spirit of vengeance led Robbie on a chase through desert back roads until it arrived at a mutilated corpse left to rot in the desert. We were Daniel Ketch, said the spirit. Avenge us. When Robbie asked who was responsible, the spirit responded, blackout and vanished. Brand followed up. That's not a name I have in my database. If my agents encounter it, I'll loop you in. Shield exchange. Okay. Common blueprint. No, we're good. Eh, I'm good. I'm here if you need me. Ooh, a private message from Aurora. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I appreciate the gift, Hunter. Forgot if I mentioned it. Can we talk? Of course we can. I was hoping we could get to know each other. Of course. I am available to answer any questions. <laughs> so you're an open book, huh? You don't find it hard opening up to people. Not really. 